hey everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm gonna be making burns questions with you guys this is an integral part of plastic surgery and yeah uh, comes up frequently on step two so these questions guys as you can see i haven't seen them before just like you so let's see how we can approach such questions let's start all right guys so first thing i do is read the last two lines as we always do and then read the answer choices so the last two lines here say that an ekg shows normal sinus rhythm with no st or t wave changes so this excludes any let's say mi or arrhythmia administration of iv fluids is begun which should the fung is the most appropriate next step in management and the answer choices here, guys, are serial arterial blood gas, so that's ABG, ultrasound, IV antibiotics and penicillin, uh, monitoring of peripheral pulses and capillary filling for shock, for example, or x-ray of the chest. So most of the answer choices here, guys, are considered additional investigations, except C, which is iv antibiotics this is how i like to think about it so what's going on here is a 32 year old woman who's brought to the ER for the evaluation of burn injuries that she sustained in a bonfire one hour ago the timing of injury here is very important the patient has severe pain in her left leg and torso and minimal pain in her right arm okay she does not smoke tearful in moderate distress her vitals are stable as well as her oxygen saturation two tender blanchable erythemas without blisters over a certain area of the left abdomen the the fact he's giving you specific areas here guys is to calculate burn surface area according to wallace rule of nines so let's see how we can do that here Okay, so this patient is stable, but she has blanchable erythemas, meaning it's a first degree burn without blisters, excluding second degree burns, over five to six, five times six centimeter of the left abdomen and a similar area of the left anterior thigh. So the first thing she has here is, if this is the patient, Okay, this is our patient. We said that she has a first degree burn on her left abdomen. So this is one. Okay. And we're going to exclude the chest here. It's just the left abdomen. We know, guys, that according to the rule of nines, the entire front here is 18%, right? So this patient has on her left abdomen alone, so that's if we consider the abdomen alone, it's going to be 9%. The chest alone is 9%. She only has one side of her abdomen, so this is 4.5%. Okay, plus she has the left anterior thigh as well, right? So this is the thigh and this is the legs. We know that the thigh represents 9% and the leg is 9%. And so the thigh is 9% totally anterior and posterior. Her burn is only on the anterior side, and so that's 4.5% anteriorly. She does not have a burn on the posterior thigh, okay? There's also an area of white leathery skin, which indicates a third degree burn and tissue necrosis encircling the right upper extremity just proximal to the elbow. Here, right there, guys, she has a circumferential third degree burn and by the way this is the clue to the answer of this question the first thing you do after stabilizing the patient we already did iv fluids and we already 
ruled out arrhythmias or anything else the first thing i would do in such a patient in fact is escarotomy or cutting out the circumferential area of tissue necrosis yeah so what we can do here in this case as an alternative because i want to make sure that her pulses in this extremity are good and are not uh, under pressure by the escar so the first thing i would do will be to be honest uh, monitoring the peripheral pulses and capillary filling yeah and it turned out right that's the first time i see this question guys so this is because of the circumferential third degree burn or escar in her right limb okay next question guys this is the same patient three hours later she's reassessed and her right arm is put in an elevated position in order to reduce edema and a physical exam of the extremities performed the exam reveals reduced capillary return and peripheral pallor so indeed there is Co compromised vascular compromise pulse oximetry of her right index finger on room air shows oxygen saturation of 84 percent so this is reduced oxygen saturation what's the next step right now guys this is time to do escarotomy this is time to do it now would it be escarotomy or fasciotomy so are we just gonna cut the skin the dead skin or are we gonna cut the dead skin and the underlying fascia as well that's probably under compartment syndrome right so we're gonna exclude all other answer choices guys uh, so is it escarotomy or is it fasciotomy i would say um fasciotomy no it's escarotomy as we mentioned earlier guys this is the third degree burn as you can see in front of you here if it's circumferential around a limb this tough skin is compromising blood flow to this limb in a third degree burn leading to impaired perfusion right why not fasciotomy fasciotomy would be seen with compartment syndrome guys yes especially with uh, electric burns however with compartment syndrome the patient would suffer severe pain in this case the woman yes she shows signs of compromised perfusion but she's not showing severe pain and that's and sensation and power is intact it's only vascular compromise this is what rules out compartment syndrome next up we have another patient so we're going to read the last two lines the rash becomes pale when pressed and then rapidly regains color so it indicates blanching of the erythema the remainder of the exam shows no abnormalities which is the most appropriate next step and the next steps all show uh you know management of the local wound dress wound with wet gauze or administer two liters of IV fluids, or apply lidocaine cream or debride exfoliated skin, apply topical mupirocin, which is an antibiotic, or apply aloe vera based moisturizer. Most of these answer choices, guys, as you can see, target the burn wound itself, except answer choice B, which mentions IV fluids. Let's see if this patient really needs IV fluids. We have a 13 year old boy coming in because of pain and redness on his back for two days as he returned yesterday from a vacation to East Africa with his parents. It's relatively self explanatory, guys. This guy had a sunburn probably where he took multiple rides on hot air balloons. Vitals are normal, stable, tender, erythematous, non periodic rash with edema covering the extensor surfaces. His here listing down the sun exposed areas extensor surface of both forearms shoulders upper back and small patches of skin exfoliation this is typical sunburn first degree burn there is no need to give iv fluids at all and in fact it's not an open wound it's just erythema so we don't need to do dressing at all as well we don't need to debride any skin uh, applying topical antibiotics would only be appropriate if this were an infected wound or bacterial infection. So I would say we can apply a moisturizer, aloe vera based. Uh, lidocaine 
anesthetic is not really appropriate uh, so applying aloe vera based moisturizer is the best way to target this here is what a sunburn looks like as you guys know yeah why not lidocaine because it can irritate damaged skin and should be avoided in the management of burns okay this guy has how much percentage of body surface area involved let's calculate guys in this uh, boy he had um, extensor surface of both forearms and shoulders meaning his entire upper limb the entire upper limb guys constitutes nine percent right nine percent front and back therefore if it's the front only which is the extensor surface only the one exposed to the sun so this guy has 4.5 percent here and 4.5 percent on the other side so this is nine percent okay plus he had on the upper back and we know guys that the trunk anteriorly is 18 percent the trunk posteriorly is 18 percent so this guy posteriorly has only the upper back so it's gonna be nine percent as well so nine plus nine is 18 as you can see here guys this boy has 18 percent body surface area involved and we do not admit patients until more than 20 percent of their body surface area is involved Okay. I hope this video helped guys. Let me know what you think 